this one actually does not look too hot. Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. It is the end of March and we are itching to plant something. So today I am going to pre-sprout our dahlia tubers so that we can have a jump start on our dahlia season. Here is my box of dahlia tubers, fresh out of the basement. So let's open it up and see. Oh, look, it's pine shavings. <laughs> Our dahlia tubers are buried in here. You can see there is one right here. If I pull this up, ooh, it kind of feels like it's rooting already. But see, here's one right here. This one actually does not look too hot. Let's see. This one looks better. This one does have some wrinklage, so we'll have to see. Oh, but this one has a little sprout. You can see it right there. I hope you guys can see that. So we are gonna go ahead and get our bucket set up to do this. I'm gonna push this off to the side. To pre-sprout your dahlia tubers, you're gonna need a low bucket or a low tray. This is a Sterilite storage container. Um, this will work perfect. It does have a lid for it, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But in the bottom of this Sterilite, I'm gonna put about two inches, here we go. I'm gonna put about two inches of potting soil. Now, I want the potting soil to be damp, but I don't want it to be like soaking wet. That should be good right there. And then I'm going to take my tubers and line them up on in my tray. All right, this is a little disappointing. I do not know what happened, but a lot of my Dahlia tubers did not overwinter very well. So I'm going to have to figure out something for next year. So it looks like I only have about four tubers that are looking nice or at least halfway nice. So we are gonna try and pre-sprout these four. I did order a lot more Dahlia tubers this year. So we will have lots of dahlias, but these four from last year are the only ones that I have left, which is kind of sad, but we will make it work. 
I do want to make an important note about pre-spotting your Dahlia tubers. Once you pre-sprout them, you can't go back. So once you pre-sprout them, you cannot put them back in dormancy. They actually, you have to plant them in the ground and they have to grow. So if you are trying to decide when is the time for you to pre-sprout them, always you have time. Give yourself a little bit of grace with it. And if you think it's too late, it is probably not too late to pre-sprout. Okay, I got our tubers in our container. They have soil that is damp, but not too, too wet. And I am going to put them in our office, which is where we pre-sprout everything. So they are gonna go in there. That room never gets below 60 degrees, so that it is the ideal condition for pre-sprouting your Dahlia tubers. I am not going to put the lid on this. I'm going to put it kind of cattywampus on there. So it's on it, but it's not latched on it because I still want to give the tubers like air to breathe and I don't want them to rot. So they need to go in a room that does not drop below 60 degrees. Here is where the Dahlia tubers are. You can see it's our office. Um, they are going to stay in here. Like I said, I'm gonna put the lid kind of on cattywampus on it. They do not need light to pre-sprout. So they don't need to go under the grow lights and take up that valuable space. Once I start to see them sprouting and they get little eyes, then I am going to cover them with about five inches of potting soil. If your container is not big enough to add five inches of potting soil, then you can, and it's still not warm enough outside to plant them, then you can just up pot them into pots until you're ready to plant them outside. So I will give them three to four weeks. I'll check on them every day. Soon as they get their little eyes, then I will add five inches of topsoil to this. Another thing to remember with Dahlia tubers is you do not want to give them too much water or they will rot. They don't need a lot of water at all. Just make sure your soil is very lightly damp and then once you start seeing stems and leaves, that is your cue to start watering them more regularly. So there you have it, how we are pre-sprouting our Dahlia tubers this year. If you want to follow along on their journey and our homesteading journey, make sure that you hit subscribe and that notifi notification bell so you can be notified the next time we upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me at the farmhouse today and I will talk to you soon.